Hello, welcome to a Brawl modding tutorial. This time we're going to be uh, learning about Bone Add, a really great basic program made with uh, Game Maker. And what it allows us to do is create just imaginary bones so that we can put models on top of other models that have more bones than the model we're putting on top. Uh, kind of a confusing concept if this is the first time you've uh, heard it. But if you watch my other tutorial, uh, model swapping with Knuckle Joe going over uh, one of the alloys, that would be a great starting point if you're going to watch this tutorial. So check that one out. And I'm going to get right into this one. It's going to be pretty fast, simple. This you'll need to download. This is a simple.exe file. Uh, link will be in the description. Once you've downloaded it, you will have this. And that's the only file that you're downloading. Don't have to extract anything. It just pops up like this. And where you put it doesn't matter. You don't have to put anything in this file. But before we run this, what we're going to do first is open up Brawlbox. And because I like Tingle, because he's quite a strange character, we're going to get the Tingle assist trophy and make him playable over basically every character. So if you don't have the Tingle Assist Trophy, you can go find it on the internet. Pretty basic stuff. Just search it up on Google. And you don't have to use Tingle. You can use anything you want, even items. That would be hard to animate because they don't have bones. What you'll need to do now is just open up the model data and preview to make sure that it's not corrupted or anything. There he is in all his Tingle Kalu Limpa glory. And if you count up all the bones, he doesn't have that many. Like probably 20-ish, maybe 25. That's not enough to go over most characters. And I think that's even less than the alloys. So knowing that he has not enough, we're going to have to give him some. And that's the whole purpose of this tutorial. Right click on the model data and export it. If you don't know how to do this, check out my earlier tutorials. And where you export this it doesn't really matter. I'm going to export it to where I have the bone add file just because seems easier that way once you've done that uh, you're finished with this you might want to close it just in case uh, Windows or whatever your operating system you're running is still linking those two files even though they're not open which is a problem with some other files you can always open it again later what you do now is you don't have to rename this or anything you just run bone add run don't worry it's safe made with game maker like I said before and read the dialogue. It's actually fairly funny. We're going to add, doesn't matter how many, just don't add a million or whatever. But keep in mind that normal characters have, I think, from like 60 to 140. So let's just add 75. Once you've typed in 75, just click OK. It'll agree with you. Click OK again. And it will bring you to this prompt where you can go and find any dot mdlo file you want. In this case, we're going to be doing Tingle. So click on him, whatever you want to do. It will disappear. And now we need to know if this worked. So we're going to double click on Tingle. This is just the model, so it doesn't have the texture. So don't be surprised when you preview this, it has no texture. All we're looking for right now is the bones. So we see all these bones that we've seen before. But when we get down here, there will be extra bone. 75 extra bones to be exact. But where are they on here? They don't exist. They're just that extra bit of information to make it work. It's like tricking Brawl into allowing itself to do something, which is great. What you need to do now is open up that original one, open up the model data, replace this model data with your new one. Once you've done that, you can file save as. Save it to your desktop or wherever you want. And you can save it as whatever you want. Name doesn't matter because you're not going to be putting it back in as an assist trophy. The whole point of this is to make it a character. So if you haven't watched Model Swap, uh, you'll need to watch that to understand how to get this into Brawl. But right now with this, 
you could just use this file instead of Knuckle Joe in Model Swap Tutorial, and you'll be good to go. So go check out that tutorial if you need another reference. It's kind of pointless to do the same tutorial twice for a different thing. But that's how you work Bonad. Great program, simple to use, funny, what's not to like. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope now you can get all those characters you want. I mean, I know I'm going to put Tingle in. Tingle's awesome. Check out the description for those downloads. Check out my blog to vote on the next week's tutorial. And yeah, just keep modding Brawl. Thanks.